Thank you again for coming. My duties include tending to these rites of remembrance. <laughs> Excellent. Manfred found his way down. Uh, very good, Manfred. He sounds excited. I thought we'd start the rites here. A tableau of the dead, commissioned 173 years ago. These lives were flickers against the ages, precious, fragile, and finite. Now they serve as a warning. Don't linger over long in the gloom. Live with grace and fervor while you may. It's like being in a very, very specialized museum. Yes, but the purpose of the tableau... Wait, did one just move? That one's livelier. Here. Who were you when you breathed above? This body was a tailor's. A mother's. She laughed and taught and wove the robes kings wore when they were crowned. Someone must realign her thoracic vertebrae. I hope the novices are inspecting the displays. Seems disrespectful to abandon something you built. Precisely. No wonder there's been an uptick in hauntings. Wait, what? Let's continue. So what now? We light candles in remembrance of the dead. Would you care to light the candle, Rook? Look at this. The last tomb of the Tannhausens. A very influential family in the Storm Age. We broke the bones of dragons. A posthumous motto. Their last heir met his match against a Highland Ravager. Death by dragon? I'm surprised there was enough to bury. Do you know, I never expected that the door we found back in the Vault of the Beloved would lead here. So the necropolis actually shuffles its rooms around? From time to time. Very unlikely to happen while we're inside a chamber. Could you light the next candle? Aha! One of my favorite flowers! A variegated weeping widower. You know your plants. Uh, alchemy is my hobby. It's a break from teaching spirit calling and theoretical applied metaphysics. Bet you'd love some of the books the Shadow Dragons uh, liberated from a few magisters. This way, Rook. You were right about the gardens being peaceful. The necropolis has its dangers, but these places are a refuge for the dead. How many people are buried here anyway? Excellent question. We rarely should take a new census. You'll need to light these candles as well. Open your hearts to the final day, companion of all the ages. I was pleasantly surprised by your respect for our undead tableau earlier, Rook. I'm beginning to think people outside Navarra find the necropolis a little unnerving. Shadow dragons are used to weird architecture. More skulls here, though. The spirits gather. Only a few more candles. Follow me. Ah, look here. Hi. Should I say hi? It's curious about you. We're also enjoying the gardens, but we've one last ritual ahead. On your way, my friend. Spirits really are your specialty. I've always had a rapport with them. 
Even as a child, they were my companions. After you started training here? After I was orphaned. Oh. A collapsed building, swift deaths. After the funeral, the watchers took me in. Waking up one day with magic must have felt lucky. It put me on a brighter path. Oh, I was such a morbid child. No. Everything terrified me when I first arrived. And you still joined the Watchers? They're what saved me. Come, the next set of graves lies ahead. Please, light the next candles, if you would. There's much to recommend about the rhythm of a ceremony. It eases our worst hours. As a boy, the Watcher's rituals were exactly what I needed to steady my days with purpose. And some death magic? Well, every young mage needs a speciality. All this pageantry, this magnificent gloom and its rites. I ask you, Rook, what is it for? It's got to be the living, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. This place is an abundance of history, of magic, of memories. The Watchers preserve it so the living may draw comfort from those who've gone before. We must get to the candle, please, Manfred. You told Harding that Manfred used to be a wisp uh, until you gave him a body? Yes. He's taken so well to it. Haven't you, Manfred? <laughs> Here are the last candles you'll need to light. Once you're ready, we'll need to ring the bell. Let the rites be acknowledged. Our bonds seen and sealed. We honor the listening spirits. Hail from the abyss. We witness, good watcher, faith kept in all our hearts. What was... The necropolis hosts many spirits. We thank these guardians for their protection and friendship. We'll need to ring the bell once more to close out the departing ceremony. So, you were really afraid of this place as a child? It wasn't the necropolis itself, but what was draped around it. Have you ever been frightened by the thought of dying, Rook? Well, hasn't everyone from time to time? When I was younger, it happened more often than that. That's when I discovered I possess a great terror of dying. It goes beyond dread. Can't be reasoned with or soothed over. It comes without warning. In the dead of night, sunlit streets, a roar, strangling fear, 
struck somewhere deep past the heart. That's an issue for a necromancer. Oddly, I discovered I wasn't alone. I debated this fear with friends. I argued with teachers. Yet, it lingered. Manfred's right. That's maudlin enough. There are struggles, but a Watcher should always find peace amongst the graves. And what sort of host would I be if we didn't end with some light refreshment? Well, if Manfred's excited, how can I refuse? Cheers, Manfred. With all my regards, oh, but I don't want them to think me homesick. Hi, Emrick. Rook, hello. Uh, just composing a few letters. The other Watchers have been most interested in our adventures. So, I've heard people call necromancers Mortalitasi. What's the difference between them and the Mornwatch? Oh, all Navaran necromancers are Mortalitasi. The Watchers are a special order within them. Very fancy. We've certain privileges and attendant responsibilities. What's the Mornwatch do? Our first duty is safekeeping the Grand Necropolis and preparing the funerary dead. Another is stopping misuse of dark magic and necromancy. Mm, must keep you busy. Not often, but uh, on occasion. What's the Grand Necropolis like? Its majesty has stilled the tongues of kings and queens. It's a haven for spirits and the dead, a vast well of history, the duty and shelter of every watcher. We who serve it are pledged to an eternal vigil. What do watchers uh, watch for? Ah, there are stranger and more dangerous things than spirits in the Fade Rook. The watchers stand against them when their shadows rise. Anything lately? A few portents. I cannot put down solely to the chaos of the elven gods, but nothing definitive. Perhaps only shivers in the void. I couldn't help overhearing the word homesick. Oh, I'm fine. Completely absorbed in our venture. But if I were home, I'd be preparing for new students or requests to speak to the dead. Can people just ask you to show up for some corpse whispering? Oh, nothing official. There are very few of us, but we help here and there. Questioning a victim of murder, clearing up disputed wills, and sometimes fetching back last words from a loved one. You can get anything out of the dead and they just let you leave Navarra? My gift has limitations. The dead only know what they did in life. What was clear under the sun is sometimes blurred when I revive them. Makes sense. Honestly, some conversations aren't worth the trouble. Death encourages obstinacy. You didn't stop teaching just to be with us, did you? I'm long overdue for a sabbatical. Besides, do you know how many students the faculty wanted in my class next season? Ten! How's one meant to tailor separate lessons for ten pupils at a time? Honestly. Good to chat. I'll let you get back to your letter. Uh, before you go, I wanted to thank you for your company in the Memorial Gardens. There's another ceremony I have to perform there. 
if you'd like to visit again. Not yet, but soon. Sounds good. Sometimes uh, I miss home too. Rook, I'm not... well, perhaps a little. You'll cheer up once we look at some graves, I bet. The ceremony should be most centering. I'll let you know when it's time. 